30 miles south of Bend on Highway 97 sits a gateway to outdoor recreation. This is Lapine. And at the south end of Lapine, just off Highway 97 to the east, sits your resource for South Deschutes County outdoor recreation. This is the Lapine Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. Boy, have we got some places for you to go. <laughs> Ann Gaywith runs the chamber, and this place is chock full of information on what to do in these parts. They've gathered a ton of information that has resulted in something they call the Newberry Country Trail. But it's not the kind of trail you might imagine. It's a driving trail. Yeah, that's the first thing you want to say, and that's why we put the road signs and all that on our on our guide. Mm -hmm. Is uh, it's not you're not going to hike. Not unless you're a super aggressive hiker. And this trail is actually three separate loops that you can experience from the comfort of your vehicle. The high desert loop takes us out into the Oregon outback takes you east on Highway 31 out to Fort Rock and uh, Silver Lake. We explore Oregon's other craters because Fort Rock is uh, a crater. We not only have Fort Rock, of course, the um, Silver Lake and fun little businesses all the way out to Summer Lake. This high desert loop on the Newberry Country Trail is accessible year round. Another section of the NCT is the High Lakes Loop. And that's, of course, Cascade Lakes Highway, but that also takes us over to Odell and Crescent Lake, which are, are fabulous, of course, Odell Lake being with the second largest lake, I think, in the state of Oregon, something like that. Unbelievable fishing. And then that includes our wonderful Polina and East Lake. The lodges up there are over 100 years old. And the third and final loop on the Newberry Country Trail is the Crater Lake Loop, which encompasses Oregon's only national park, as well as the towns of Chimult and Chiloquin and the Rogue River Gorge. If you're going to drive the Newberry Country Trail, this is the tool that you need. You can get this guide here at the Lapine Chamber. It talks about the towns and the features along each of the three loops. Also, the beginning of each section in our book is about that loop and how to navigate it. So we, we're, pretty, we're pretty good about getting you there and telling you what the, the best things to see. And yeah, so you can have the best trip possible. I can't stress enough how important it is to start your trek at the Lapine Chamber. This is the place to stop. We have the maps. Uh, as you might be aware, living in Central Oregon, GPS isn't the best way to navigate in, in our area. It takes you places that either don't exist or, you know, stop out in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Uh, so real maps uh, are still a thing. There's your travel tip of the day. To take the Newberry Country Trail, you're going to need maps, and you can get them here at the Lapine Chamber. But if they are closed, don't worry, hope is not lost. There's this big overview map on the outside wall of the chamber. Here is Lapine, a little bit to the east, Newberry Crater, to the west, the High Lakes area, and of course to the south, Crater Lake and Diamond Lake. So what are you waiting for? Get a head start on those out-of-towners and check out the Newberry Country Trail. In Lapine, this is Dave Jones for Destination Oregon.